Hi, welcome. I'm Dr. Carla Sadek, and you're watching my fantastic YouTube channel on cysts and lipoma removal. Hi guys, I think you're going to enjoy this next clip. We've got this rather large uh, black head spacious cyst that's been on this chap's back for about three or four years. It's become very mature um, and it started to grow and become a little bit tender. And I think definitely at this point we need to say enough's enough, it needs to come out because the risk of it becoming infected are so much more increased. So I think you'll enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Always love to hear feedback from all of our viewers. So please leave a comment down below and I'll, I'll read it and I'll try and respond to it as well. Uh, also check out the Instagram account for future material. We kind of post it on there first. Also, we've got another channel, Dr. Colored Uncut, where we discuss broader medical topics as opposed to just the surgery. <clears throat> but most of all, folks, enjoy the video. Till next time, bye-bye. Okay, first start by cleaning the skin. This is going to feel a bit of a cold wetness, it's just some iodine. Also, stains the skin a little bit as well as so you get a bit of a fake tan afterwards. <laughs> Not that you need it. There we go. Okay. Next up, what I want to do is just insert some local anesthetic. How long has it been here? It's about three years, you said? Yeah, I believe so. Oh, okay. It's quite a long time. So the anesthetic, like I said, can sting a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we just want to put it just underneath the skin. Just there. It's going to start oozing through. It's fine. Put a bit more in. Is that painful when it goes in the anesthetic? Yeah, it stings a little bit. It stings, okay. Okay. All right, leave that to work for a few seconds. And what I'm going to do is just make a small incision at the top uh, and try and get some of this stuff out, okay? okay. Gonna try and get this stuff out now, okay? Just gently squeeze the size just to empty the volume out. There's quite a lot of volume there. Just take that away. Okay, the next one to do is see if we can get the sack out. I'll we'll see if there's a sack. It's a little bit more volume still at the base there. Okay, so there's definitely a, elements of a sack in there. So 
what we're going to do is work our way around it and remove it. Just applying some gentle traction to the cyst. It's very friable, so it is kind of giving way, but we'll try and get it all out. So. Okay, so if we can just grab the sack out from the base, just peel it away. Okay, so that's the inside of the sack. And if we turn it around, you can see the bottom of the sack there in its entirety. So we just move that to the side. The thing I want to do is just make sure the inside is all cleaned out, make sure it's looking healthy and fresh, which it is, fantastic. Brilliant. So, I'll do is just put one stitch, one or two stitches, and then it's finished. So the stitch will need to come out in seven to ten days. So I'm not sure where, where I don't know where you'll be, but if you are here, uh -huh. I'm more than happy to take it out. Um, but I, I appreciate you're going to be all over the world. So. Okay, I'm put the dressing on now. The dressing is quite large compared to the actual cut, but uh, okay. don't be alarmed by that. Perfect. All done. Hi, I hope you liked that procedure. Remember, if you like the video, put a ring on it, subscribe down below. I'd love to hear your feedback about diversifying the program. Uh, remember to tell your friends about it. Uh, and most of all, uh, till next time. Bye bye.